Look, I want you to be attractive everywhere you go. I want you to attract any girl you want to attract. So today, I'm going to give you seven rules to live by that will make you attractive to almost anyone. Let's hop into it. Rule one, do not be yourself. See, being yourself is what got you to this video. Being yourself is what doesn't have you with the girlfriend. Being yourself is a cop-out where most people will tell you, oh, just be yourself as a way to just stay exactly where you are. What you need to do is be self-aware. You need to be self-aware enough to know that everyone, including myself and yourself, has defaults, has weaknesses that you can constantly be working on to become better. Now, this doesn't mean you're gonna change your morals or your core foundation, no, 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 no. What it means is that you're morphing and constantly evolving yourself. So no, don't be yourself, be a better version of yourself. Rule number two, control emotions. You need to understand that people's emotions are heavily manipulated by their five senses, right? Their sight, their taste, their smell, their auditory. These are ways that you can control people's emotions. For example, if you got game, you're controlling the auditory section. If you know how to touch a girl right, you will send chills down her spine. If you look good, bro, forget about it. You got her hooked from the visual sense. See, you need to be able to know how to manipulate those five senses to control people's emotions and get them to be attracted to you. One of my favorite senses though, is your olfactory, is the sense of smell. Because this is the one that's easiest to control because all it takes is two sprays in the morning and that's it. And the crazy part, the crazy part, this is the one that most guys skip. So many guys are focusing, okay, I need to dress well. Okay, I need to work on my game and forget Two sprays, two seconds in the morning is more than enough to control the olfactory sense and drive any girl crazy, especially, yo, especially if you're wearing your boy Santa Lucia. See, I designed Santa Lucia with one thing in mind. Our new dark collection, which is the collection we dropped this year, has been our best-selling collection yet, featuring three fragrances using unique scents that I promise you, when you go into situations, you're gonna be controlling emotions. And it's not gonna be, oh wait, I've smelled that before, or oh, this is some sort of copy from another. No, 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 no. Our fragrances are completely unique. Designed in collaboration with our fragrance house in France. France is the fragrance capital of the world. We're not cutting any corners. See, all three of our fragrances are parfums. They are at 21% concentration, making them last longer, making them more potent, stronger, more masculine. So yeah, you only need two to three sprays and you're gonna smell like the man all day long. And our three scents, which are Asavache, this one's, this one's crazy. Love, love, women love, love. And then finally Gala, I promise you, this is the only rotation of fragrances you need so you can have something for every single occasion of your life that's gonna make you smell good. Boys, if you guys wanna check out our dark collection, I'm telling you, these are the fragrances you need that are gonna level you up and control her emotions. If you guys wanna check it out, it'll be linked down below. Three, rule three always connect. See, you cannot expect to attract certain people that you don't even have the balls to go introduce yourself. They don't even know who you are. And if you're still watching this video, I'm going to assume you're still trying to attract that special someone, which means on the daily, you should be on go mode, meaning you should make it a goal every single day that when you step out, you're going to connect with at least one person. I don't care if it's a random girl on the street, a random uh, cashier, I don't care if it's a server, I don't care who it is, you should make it a goal to connect with them. Just start a, a simple conversation so you can start building up your game and your charisma so when you do try to connect with that special somebody, it's gonna become like second nature. Rule four, hide and she seeks. See, if you really wanna connect with the person to the point that they chase you, they are attracted to you, you're going to have to allow them to chase you, which means when you make that initial connect, right, you gain that interest, you know you got her connected, I don't want you to give her that same level of interest again. I want you to be able to walk away. This part's gonna be hard because when you feel you're winning, all you're gonna wanna do is spend more time and talk to her. But if you listen to your older brother, one, you should be already connecting with other people that are gonna take your time away from her. And two, now that you're not giving her the interest and attention that you once gave her, now she's hungry for it. As soon as you don't listen to me and you go back to your old ways and you start chasing her, 
the further and further that girl's gonna get away from. Rule number five, I want you to front them. Fronting somebody or squaring up to somebody is when you face them with your entire body. See, when you front somebody or you give them your entire body, you are signaling to that other person that there is a genuine deep interest from you to them because you're giving them everything, your, your toes, your hips, your chest, your face, it's all facing them. See, most people have a tendency to be at a three-fourths or maybe their feet are facing another direction and they're turning to you. This is usually signaling that they're trying to get the hell out of here. But when you front people, when you first connect with them, you're giving them everything. You're telling them, my whole world is right here. That's that level of attention that's going to get them to connect. And then when you don't give them that again, that's when they're going crazy. Which takes us to rule number six. I'm, I'm gonna call it the five and 15 rule. This is where I want you to touch that girl at least five times in a span of 15 minutes. Let's say you guys are vibing, you know, everything's just, the vibes are immaculate, right? The things, it's getting hot, it's getting heavy. You can feel it, she can feel it. She's not pushing away. Within that, that conversation, I want you to touch her at least five times. It could be on the shoulder, it could be on the arm, on the hand, on the thighs if you guys are sitting down. It could be on the lower part of her back. I'm telling you, you are going to send chills down this girl's spine. Think about it. Every single time you touch her, you're going to send dopamine hit running through her body every single time and you're doing it lightly. You're controlling yourself. Right? You're not so aggressive. It's going to get to the point that she's going to crave more of it or crave more of you. I'm telling you, bro, I'm giving you out here free game. That's it for your boy. Those are six rules to live by that's gonna make you attractive to anybody. That's it for your boy. See you next time.